Okay, in this video I'm going to tell you about uh, documents, Samsung documents, and document layers. So whenever you start Samsung, you have one open document, document 1 here, visible in this document view, and you can work with multiple documents at the same time. So I'm going to create a new document by going to the file menu, new, document 2, or I can also press Ctrl N to create a new document document 3. And then when I want to switch between uh, these documents, I either go to the window menu, document 1, document 2, document 3, or by using keyboard shortcuts, control tab to move forward, document 1, document 2, document 3, or control shift tab to move backwards, document 2, document 1. I close a document by going to the file menu close or so now I have only two documents le left or by pressing Ctrl W document closed and now I have only document one left so that's it about uh, documents <coughs> now about document layers the data inside the document is organized into document layers that you can use to split and uh, sort your data into meaningful um, structures. For example, imagine that you're doing um, a biological system where you have a channel in a membrane and you could say that you put all the molecules describing the the membrane inside the same layer. So for this I'm going to go to the edit menu, layer, add layer, and I'm going to create a new layer. I can also use this icon here to create a new layer and I can rename these layers. Let's call this one channel, and this one membrane and this one ligand so I can organize my work um, and my data. So you can see here that among these three layers this one has a different background color and this is the active layer. In Samsung there is always at least one layer and always at least sorry always one and only one active layer and this one is the active layer if I want to select another layer as in the active layer I select the layer I right click and I select set as active layer and the goal of the active layer is to be the layer that is used uh, preferentially by some Samsung elements to prefer perform some tasks. For example, imagine that you have a Samsung element that um, you use to create carbon nanotubes models inside a Samsung. Then uh, these Samsung elements will preferably uh, add uh, these carbon nanotubes to the active layer. Uh, similarly, if you open a file and import a structure inside Samsung, then it will be loaded preferentially inside the active, uh, the current active layer. Okay, you can also remove a layer. Uh, mo more precisely, you always remove the current active layer. For example, here I remove a layer, and the layer that was removed was the, um, the active layer. And the new active layer is the last layer in the document.